Today we talk about qualitative data analysis. This is chapter 10. Qualitative researchers focus on the tests, not on numbers like quantitative researchers. Qualitative researchers analyze the text, which includes transcripts of interviews, observation notes, and pictures. So in other words, the qualitative researchers are looking for documents, looking at the, the information out there, so specific text. So in a way, we can looking through this text to see some possible clues. Qualitative analysis tends to be inductive. The analysts identify important categories in data as well as the patterns and relationships through a process of discovery. In other words, uh, we, we are, when we are doing qualitative analysis, we are looking for all these possible emerging themes. What is the patterns among all these kind of the variables? For example, if we study what are the needs and the wants of our students at the Pacific. So after all these uh, kind of personal interviews, what, what did the students tell us? Are they talking about security as a pattern or are they talk about academic kind of performance or academic achievements so what are or the internship a job and so on and so forth so all these kind of is a process of discovery qualitative data analysis uh, is okay let's get there so quality data analysis is a iterative and reflexive process, meaning that you have to repeat and uh, emphasizing uh, again and again and also reflexive. So you have to try to think about it and going through this uh, thinking process that begins as data are being collected rather than after data collection has ceased. The qualitative analyst, uh, analysts draw down ideas about the meaning of the text and how it might relate to other issues. So as a researchers, so you have to constantly kind of write notes, take notes and compare notes, try to figure out what is going on and how to interpreting these data through this kind of thinking process. There's a very important concept called progressive focusing which means that a qualitative analyst interacts with data and gradually refines the focus, meaning that you are not have a fixed mindset. You are constantly looking for those evolving themes, constantly looking for the emerging themes. So emerging themes is really the key we are looking for. That's how what that's the focus for qualitative researchers. There are several basic guidelines for quality data analysis. We should know ourselves. We should know our questions. We should seek creative abundance, consult others with, and keep looking for alternative interpretation, and be flexible. We need to exhaust data, meaning that we need to make sure that we understand the data completely and celebrate a nominally and they are the windows to inside those kind of outliers kind of situation can be very helpful for us get critical feedback the solo analyst is a great danger to self and others be explicit so share the results with yourself your team members and your audiences there are three different modes of reading in the text or reading the text. So number one, when the researcher reads the text literally, she's a focus on the literal content and the form. So the text leads the dance. Here we are talking about literally, meaning that you need to focus on that literal content. Secondly, when the researcher reads the text reflexively, meaning that she focuses on her own orientation shapes her interpretation. Now the researchers leads the dance. The third one is the researcher read the text interpretively. She tries to construct her own interpretation of what the text means. So these are the three steps we can use in doing the data analysis. 
here is an example. So you kind of read this literally. So literal reading. You need to have this uh, reflexively. Reflexively. And also you have to have this uh, kind of uh, the interpretively. So literally, reflexively, and interpretively. So you go through this uh, whole process. Then again, literally, and uh, literally here, reflexively, and then go through this uh, whole process. There's a kind of major differences between qualitative and quantitative. One is uh, focused on meanings rather than quantifiable phenomena. One is focused on collection of many data on a few cases rather than few data on many cases. Study in-depth and details without the predetermined categories and directions rather than emphasis on analysis and categories determined in advance. Conceptualize con conceptions of researcher as instrument rather than as the designer of objective instruments to measure and the particular variables. Sensitivity to context rather than seeking universal generalizations. Attention to impact of researchers and other values on the course of analysis rather than presuming the possibility of value-free increase. A goal of rich description of the world rather than measurement of specific variables. Clearly, you can see that the qualitative focus on more, focusing more on the thinking, the value, the interpretation. The quantitative focus on objectivity, objectivity, and also the data, and so on. You are also uh, have to keep in mind features of a qualitative data analysis that are shared with those of quantitative data analysis. So that means we can also do two uh, at one time. Both qualitative and quantitative data analysis can involve making distinction about textual data. You also know that textual data can be transposed to quantitative data through a process of categorization and accounting. So that means the qualitative and the quantitative can have some kind of shared kind of possibility, and also we can kind of transfer one to the another. There's a five techniques of doing qualitative data analysis. So number one is a documentation of data. Document data documentation of data is very important because that is how qualitative researchers are doing. They have to collect all these evidence to use that evidence to go through this kind of clues and try to look for patterns and look for the interpretation. Second one is organization. How to organize all these data, all these pieces of evidence is very important because the goal is try to turn these data into some concept. And so in a way that uh, make a good a good organization is very important. Number three is the connection of the data to show how one concept may influence another. So in a way that if we look at uh, how students uh, kind of their needs and the wants and the Pacific, so do, is there any kind of influence between say students' security versus a students' uh, kind of satisfaction? Can we see that as connection? Number four is the corroboration and le uh, legitimization by evaluating alternative explanations, disconfirming evidence, and searching for negative cases. Here we are looking at, uh, instead of looking at the majority cases, we can look at the minority cases. We can look at what are the kind of negative things. For example, if we want to study people's uh, satisfaction with the Pacific uh, kind of environment, Instead of looking at the satisfaction as a majority kind of information focus, we can look at who are dissatisfied through this kind of negative cases. Then we can kind of under, better understand the satisfaction as a whole. Finally, representing the account, reporting the findings and presenting the conclusion. So look at this, uh, the model for the qualitative data analysis. So here you kind of collect data. 
Then you try to organize the data in a way that is for a meaningful data analysis. Then you kind of try to display the data in a way that you can kind of draw some parallel. Finally, you can develop the themes and presenting the, the major themes to uh, answer your research question. So that's kind of the step one to step four. So that is the process of qualitative data analysis. There are other uh, a variety of uh, qualitative data analysis. So one is called uh, ethnography, which is very common way of kind of a research method in qualitative data analysis. And then there's a ethnography, which is a kind of a new term for uh, using ethnography method to study online communities. Conversation analysis is a very popular uh, qualitative method and try to analyze how people are talking, the words they are using, and the meaning con conveying, and also what are those apparel language, what is the tones and emphasis on the meaning in their conversation. The goal of many qualitative researchers is to create a grounded theory. So that means the reason we are doing the quality research, we want to generate some theory, but that theory should be grounded in the historical and the real social context. So in a way that is, uh, quality research is to build up inductively a systematic theory that is uh, grounded in or based on the observation. So that is the key. Quality researchers often combine one or more of these methods in order to take advantage of different opportunities for data collection and to enrich understanding of social process. Ethical guidelines are, should be followed for doing quality researchers, just like any other researchers, like privacy, confidentiality, anonymity, and all those guidelines should be followed closely. The leader, one of the leaders in quality researchers, uh, he is Denzi, who suggested that at the conclusion of any quality data analysis, we need to ask these questions about the materials we have produced. So number one, he said, do they eliminate the phenomenon as a live experience? So we have to ask ourselves, when we have the results, can we say these results are, li are live experience, meaning that uh, does this experience can be shared with other people? Is this kind of the experience can be can be felt just like a, another person's experience? Number two, are they based on thickly contextualized materials? Thickly contextualized materials. It means that when we get a conclusion, can we say that this is only single or couple of evidence to prove or to support idea? Or is that based on multiple of very thickly kind of contextualized evidence? So that is very important. Number three is, are they historically and relationally grounded? So we have to we want to make sure that the idea, the themes, the factors we got, we found through this quality analysis, are they based on historical and a relational base? Are they kind of rooted in the historical and the relational uh, kind of uh, evidence? Number four, are they pro, uh, processual or interreactional? Meaning that uh, the qualitative uh, uh, the researchers want to make sure that our conclusion, our evidence is in the whole process, it's not isolated. It should be interreacted with other information as well. Finally, do they engulf what is known about the phenomenon? So these are very important questions to be asked during this uh, about the materials we produced. When analysis of quality data is judged as successfully in terms of these criteria, we can conclude that the goal of authenticity has been achieved. So 
authenticity is our the is the key to doing qualitative analysis. And that's the end of uh, this presentation.